Samsung's second foldable phone is here, and it's a lot better than the first one. The original Galaxy Fold had lots of problems, but the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip does a lot of things right. Here are 5 cool things about this foldable smartphone. Let's be honest, everyone wants to do this. There's a real wow factor when you flip the phone open. Sometimes I do find it troublesome to open, and I have to use two hands every time. But the hinge is sturdy, so I don't feel nervous unfolding it. That's important for a phone that costs $1,400. The Galaxy Fold opens up to the size of a small tablet, but the Galaxy Z Flip is closer to the size of a regular smartphone. That means it's extra compact when it's folded. Sure, it's a little thick, but you can slip this phone very easily into your pocket. The split screen is really useful. It splits the screen to half along the phone, so you can run a different app on each half of the screen. I can do video calls on top and Google Docs on the bottom, or YouTube above and Pokemon Go below. It makes multitasking simple and practical. The hinge is stiff enough to hold the phone upright, so you can take selfies without actually holding the phone. You can set the hinge to a variety of angles, and gesture with your hands to start the countdown to a shot. It's really useful for video calls too, and it's great for watching videos while you eat. There's a tiny 1.1 inch screen next to the camera. It might seem too small to be practical, but it's actually really useful. You can control music playback, you can swipe to see icons for notifications, and even use it to take selfies. I really enjoyed using the Z Flip. The folding factor is actually useful here. It gives you a full-size smartphone that fits easily into your pocket. I have some concerns about durability in the long run. It's not rated for dust or water resistance. And $1,400 is a lot of money. But if the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip is what foldable phones can do, I'm really excited to see what Samsung will do next.